Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another video here today. Now this is actually a special video that I will release because we have surpassed 3,000 subscribers on this channel. A little while back, I said that when we hit 3,000, I would do a video showcasing my entire collection and that would contain DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks. I do mostly have movies, but I also have a fair amount of TV shows as well. I think I have a bit more movies though, honestly. But this will be a video showcasing my entire collection, every single title that I have. So I don't want to waste too much time, I want to get right into this video, but just briefly, I want to say thank you for 3,000 subscribers. I think it's just very cool that we have reached that number, and I hope the channel can only continue to grow. Now this shelf right here is a tan shelf, dedicated to movies. About 95% of this shelf contains movies on it. Now this shelf is mostly TV shows as well. I think it's probably about 90% TV shows. Um, but there is actually Looney Tunes on the bottom there, and technically those are Looney Tunes movies and stuff like that. So, But this has more adult animation, like Rick and Morty, C-Lab 2021, Harvey Birdman, uh, Futurama, and then Looney Tunes, of course. Tom and Jerry Looney Tunes aren't really adult cartoons, but you know what I mean. And then this shelf here. This isn't really a movie shelf. It just kind of sits in between. There are some movies at the bottom. But I will go over this shelf when we get to it. But we will start with this shelf. This is a black shelf. Has most of my cartoons on it. As well as my live action TV shows. But on this first shelf here, we have two TV box sets. And this is actually my Marvel collection. So this is just a brief overview of my collection. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So up at the top here, we have a Blu-ray player and a TV. This is just kind of in the guest bedroom. The main 4K player and the 4K TV that I have is in a separate room. We also have an AV switcher up there. Pretty retro, it has Radio Shack on there. But that just uh, switches between the Blu-ray player and the DVD player pretty easily, just like that. Easy. Then we go into the Marvel collection, as I was saying. So here is the first shelf. We have two TV show box sets up here. That 70s show, the complete series on Blu-ray. And a Community, the complete series, also on Blu-ray. We'll move those out of the way. Have a little bobblehead as well. But here is the Marvel collection. So we start with the X-Men, going to Spider-Man, and then the MCU. I don't have every single Marvel Blu-ray, but I have a decent amount. We'll start here. We have the X-Men Trilogy box set. And I'll pull this one out real quick. It's a nice little set. Blu-ray and digital copy. Just has X-Men, X2, and X3, the last stand. Then we have X-Men Origins Wolverine. X-Men First Class, The Wolverine. X-Men Days of Future Past, that's the Rogue cut. X-Men Apocalypse, has a cool X case there. Put that one back in. Then we have Dark Phoenix, Logan, and then we go into the Deadpool movies, Deadpool. Deadpool 2 on 4K. Then we have the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man trilogy on 4K. I've been meaning to actually do an unboxing for this one. Just uh, keep forgetting to do it. But that is a nice 4K set. But only the 4K discs are actually included in that one. So I have these, the Spider-Man trilogy again, with their individual Blu-ray releases. These are pretty nice. Spider-Man 2 is my favorite, of course. Then we have the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movie. So Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. Venom. And Venom, Let There Be Carnage, that one's on 4K. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Hulk, Ang Lee's Hulk from 2003. Then The Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton. And then 
I actually get into the MCU. So we have Iron Man, the Incredible Hulk in that green Blu-ray case. We have Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America, the first Avenger. We have a 3D Blu-ray with the original Avengers. Iron Man 3. And we have a 3D version of Iron Man 3. I don't know why I have both of them. Thor, the Dark Thor. Captain America, the Winter Soldier. The original Guardians of the Galaxy. Avengers Age of Ultron. Ant-Man. Captain America Civil War. Doctor Strange. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Spider-Man Homecoming. Thor Ragnarok. Black Panther. Great movie. Ant-Man and the Wasp. We have Captain Marvel. Then we have Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. And then the final movie of the MCU Phase 3 is Spider-Man Far From Home. Then we'll go down here to the second shelf. This is more of my Nickelodeon collection, actually. So very bright colors here. Definitely has a Nickelodeon vibe. So here is a brief overview of the Nickelodeon collection. I do have this, another thing I've been planning to unbox. Police Squad, the complete series, that's kind of the TV show that inspired the Naked Gun movies. But technically, that is a TV show. I just wasn't really sure where to put it, so it just kind of sits there for right now. We have both Avatar TV shows, so Avatar The Last Airbender on Blu-ray, great set, and The Legend of Korra, complete series as well. Then we have the Spongebob Squarepants movie on Blu-ray. The Spongebob movie Sponge Out of Water. It's a Spongebob Christmas, nice little Blu-ray set. And the Spongebob movie Sponge on the Run. Then we have the Hey Arnold movie on Blu-ray. Then we have the Hey Arnold Complete series. Hey Arnold the Jungle movie, only on DVD though. Cat Dog the Complete series. Rocco the Complete series. Ren and Stimpy, the first and second seasons uncut. Then season three and a half-ish. Season five and some more, four. And then we have the Ren and Stimpy Lost episodes. Not a very good show. It's the Ren and Stimpy adult party cartoon. Then we have the six movie collection. So I do have these movies on DVD, but uh, someday I would like to upgrade those to Blu-ray. I already have these two on Blu-ray, but uh, none of the other ones. Let me actually have the first 100 episodes of Spongebob. Great DVD sets. And these are my Spongebob season sets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Season 1, Volume 1 of the Patrick Star Show. And the Spongebob musical Live on Stage. And I actually have the Hey Arnold Stoop Killer Stories DVD, which uh, is not a very good DVD. Now, I do have a lot of other Spongebob DVDs. Those are actually kind of hidden away. I'll explain that in a bit. But uh, let's go ahead and look down here. So these are my live-action TV shows on DVD. And there was a small little cartoon section here as well. But let's go ahead and get started with this left-hand side here. So we have my Comedy Central TV shows. The Nathan For You Complete Series. Great show. Review the Complete Series, Chappelle's Show Season 1 and Season 2. We actually have the Lost Episodes as well. Lost Episodes are not very good. King of Queens, the Complete Series. That's a, kind of an old DVD box set, but uh, I remember buying that for 20 bucks on Amazon. Great price for a 27-disc set. But they have actually reissued the King of Queens uh, in a Blu-ray set, which would be nice to get. But for now, I'm fine with just having this DVD, though. Then we actually have my Bugs Bunny box set here. This is the Looney Tunes Bugs Bunny 80th Anniversary Collection. We have the Infinity Train Book 1 and Book 2 DVDs. We have Courage the Cowardly Dog, the complete series. Steven Universe Season 1. They did release a complete series set for Steven Universe. Just haven't bought that one yet. We have Ed, Ed and Eddie, just Season 1. Again, they've also uh, released a complete series set for that. So uh, definitely that and uh, Adventure Time. Those would be some nice complete series sets to get someday. Then we have just the first four seasons of The Simpsons. Moving down, we have 
another layer right here. We have my little Three Stooges collection. We have the Honeymooners, the Monsters Complete series. Then we kind of have my 90s TV shows. We have the Flash original series. The Larry Sanders show. We have a The British Office. So that's season one and season two. And then kind of the Office special. That's just the series finale. Third Rock from the Sun, the complete series. Arrested Development, seasons one, two, and three. I would like to get season four too someday. We have Extras, the complete first season and the complete second season. And then the series finale. Then we have Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's the first 10 seasons of the show. All right there. So this is what it looks like. I did not remove this one yet because I wanted to show what it looked like here. But uh, a lot of my SpongeBob DVDs are just hidden away back here because, well, I don't really need access to these SpongeBob DVDs all the time. You know, I like these season sets, of course, but how often do I really need access to my other season sets? I mean, it's the exact same discs. You know, it's fine just sitting back here. I don't need access to it all the time, so it's kind of hidden away back here. So two layers of DVDs back here. But this is stuff I like to have in my collection, but just again, I don't need access to it all the time, so it just kind of sits back here. And down here we have The Amazing World of Gumball. So it's the DVD, The Mystery, and The Party. And that original Gravity Falls volume. Honestly, I don't even need that, but I still have it. Then we have the first two seasons of The Loud House. So Welcome to The Loud House, and it gets louder. Absolute Madness and Relative Chaos. I would like to get the other seasons, but for now, just have those. And we have some Muppet DVDs, actually. A Muppet Christmas, Muppet Treasure Island, Muppets Take Manhattan, and the Muppet Movie. I would like to get these on Blu-ray someday. I'm a huge Muppets fan, actually. We have a Nicktoons Halloween DVD. King of Queens, the complete season one. We have the first two seasons of Adventure Time. Again, would like to get the complete series. And then we have these animated movies here on DVD. So we have Robots, Kung Fu Panda 1, 2, and 3. Lion King 1.5, Lilo and Stitch, Lilo and Stitch 2. Stitch has a glitch. I love Lilo and Stitch. Then we have Stitch the Movie, Shrek 3D, Shrek, Shrek 2, Shrek the 3rd, Shrek the Final Chapter, Ratatouille, Finding Nemo, The Incredibles, Monsters, Inc., Cars, Up, The Peanuts Movie, Coraline, Paranorman, and Scooby-Doo meets Courage the Cowardly Dog. But that is this DVD collection back here. Let's go ahead and put the DVDs back in front. And just like that, they are all back in there. Takes a minute to take out, a minute to put back in, so not a problem. Let's go ahead and move on to this shelf here. Up at the top of the shelf, I have a clock and a TV antenna as well. Here we have one of the few Lego sets I actually own. It's the Back to the Future DeLorean. Pretty nice. <laughs> coin bank and then here is a mini dvd player we have some funko pops down here kind of covering some tv wires and then we have just this little thing down here i think this is meant to like hold cds but this just has some blu-ray cases in there just empty blu-ray cases i've collected over the years if i ever need them so yeah just empty blu-ray cases and then i actually have kind of some more holiday titles i guess now, a lot of these have been upgraded to 4K. I'd love to get these on 4K, but for now, I just have them here in this special little section here on DVD, but eventually, someday, I will upgrade these. Now, the first three titles are Halloween movies, the Michael Myers Halloween stuff. So that's Halloween 2 and Halloween 3. We have Halloween 4 and Halloween 5, and the Halloween 3 film collection. That has Halloween 6, which is probably my... Well, actually, no. Halloween Resurrection is pretty bad, too. But um, Halloween 6 is not very good, either. But anyway, the three-film collection here has Halloween 6, Halloween H2O, which is really good, and then Halloween Resurrection, which is abysmal. Then we have four of these Christmas DVDs here. So the Polar Express, A Christmas Story, A Christmas Carol, and Elf. But that just covers that small shelf. Now let's go ahead and get into the big shelf here. 
probably the best shelf in my collection. Now we move on to my favorite shelf here. This is a tan shelf designed to hold DVDs. Of course, I put Blu-rays on it though. Up here at the very top, we have my 007 DVD box sets. Really do like these. I mean, they just look so nice like that. Up at the top here, a Cinema Sickness sticker. I do uh, definitely like watching his videos. And we have these Christmas ornaments up here. These are like VHS ornaments. And there's a couple I'm missing, but uh, I just have five right here. I do also collect vinyl records. And so I have a whole other collection for that. But the one I'm listening to like at the moment, I typically put here. So big fan of Earth, Wind & Fire. Then we'll go into the Blu-rays. This is alphabetized for the most part. B-A should come before B-L, but I just don't do that. It's close enough. So first we actually have the Back to the Future box set. This sticks out much more than a regular Blu-ray case. So I have it up against the shelf here. But yeah, great box set there. We actually start with numbers. I know some people put numbers at the end after Z, but I put them before here. So 127 hours, pretty solid movie. Then 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street. Apocalypse Now, it's a great 4K set. Anchorman, American Psycho, which is a pretty old Blu-ray release. The Art of Self-Defense, American Maid, Arrival, Boyhood, the Bill & Ted three-film collection, Black Klansman on 4K, The Big Lebowski, The Blues Brothers, Baby Driver, Casino, I have not even opened that one yet, Cloverfield, 10 Cloverfield Lane, and The Cloverfield Paradox, Creed 1 and Creed 2. Still need to get the new Creed 3, which was pretty good. City Slickers, Central Intelligence, Daddy's Home 1 and 2, the Die Hard 5 film collection, The Disaster Artist, Dune, great film, End of Watch, another really good film. Over here we have the 4K, it's the Walmart exclusive of Everything Everywhere All at Once, really, really good film. Edge of Tomorrow. This is a collection here. ESPN Films Collection. We have the Fast and Furious Ultimate Ride Collection. It is actually a DVD. I'd love to uh, upgrade those to maybe even 4K someday. The Fate of the Furious. F9, The Fast Saga. Terrible title. Fight Club. Fences. Pretty good. Forrest Gump. Ford v. Ferrari. Then we have uh, Ghostbusters. There's the Good Burger Steel Book. Get Out, really good movie. These are all uh, three G titles, so the Goonies. And then Gremlins 1 and 2, I do love the Gremlins. The Green Mile, Hacksaw Ridge. Halloween on 4K, that's the 1978 original one. Then the 2018 Halloween movie. Halloween Kills. And Halloween Ends. And we have the Rob Zombie Halloween movies. Heat on 4K. The Hobbit Trilogy. We have uh, Her. Got that at Dollar Tree. Really good movie, too. Inception. It and It Chapter 2. Then we have John Wick. John Wick Chapter 2. And John Wick Chapter 3. We move on down to this shelf. Here we have the 4K of Jaws, Journey to the Center of the Earth, The Jungle Book, that's the live-action one. Not even that good, but uh, I still have it. Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park 2, The Lost World, Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic World, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and Jurassic World Dominion. So all of them individually. We have The Karate Kid, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, a movie... No one ever talks about it. It's really good, though. Kick-Ass and Kick-Ass 2, pardon my language. Uh, Kingsman, The Secret Service. Kingsman, The Golden Circle. 
I do need to get the King's Man, too, which actually wasn't even that bad, in my opinion. The King of Staten Island, another Dollar Tree title, so I haven't seen it yet. La La Land, uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy. Mad Max Fury Road, phenomenal movie. The Labyrinth, this is kind of like a digibook almost. The Martian. The Matrix Trilogy, great box set there. The Mel Brooks Collection. I don't know if it says, actually on the back, yeah, there's nine films in here. The Mission Impossible 6 Movie Collection. We have the Muppets from 2011. Muppets Most Wanted. Nobody, really good movie. The Nice Guys, The Outsiders, the complete novel. Moving over here, we have Ocean's 8. We have The Power Rangers. That's the uh, steel book there. These are both Dollar Tree titles. I'm not a big fan of the Purge movies, but for only a buck, I bought them. So the Purge and the Purge election year. We have in a cool red case, Predator, which sadly is a terrible Blu-ray transfer. It looks terrible, so I should probably upgrade that to 4K someday. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Great movie. A Quiet Place and A Quiet Place Part 2. Rampage. This is Mad Max 2, The Road Warrior. Rocky. That's the sixth film collection there. Star Trek Motion Picture Trilogy. We have the 2009 Star Trek Reboot. Star Trek Into Darkness. Star Trek Beyond. And we have two of the Cornetto films there. So that's uh, Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz, Split, Selma, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, Shawshank Redemption on 4K, Tenet, The Thing, Teen Spirit, Top Gun, so we need to get Top Gun Maverick. Then we have True Grit, that's kind of the 2010s True Grit, really good movie though. Total Recall. Terminator and Terminator 2 Judgment Day. The Three Stooges on Blu-ray. That's the movie. This is the end. And Tim and Eric's Billion Dollar Movie. Then we have The Usual Suspects. Pretty overrated movie in my opinion. Unsane, another Dollar Tree title. Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, the Warlords. Whiplash. Wizard of Oz on Blu-ray. And Zoolander. There is still some more stuff though, of course. We have Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and War for the Planet of the Apes. If I put that alphabetically, it would be all over the place. So I just have it in its own section here. And these are all really good movies, by the way, too. Really, really underrated. Then we have the James Bond movies with Daniel Craig. So that's Casino Royale. Quantum of Solace, pretty bad. Skyfall, really good. Spectre, okay. And No Time to Die, pretty good. Then we have the Jason Bourne movies, also five films. So these all kind of line up nicely with their spines there. So the Bourne Identity, the Bourne Supremacy, the Bourne Ultimatum, and then the Bourne Legacy, which is with Jeremy Renner, and then Jason Bourne. So we have Reservoir Dogs, 15th anniversary. I think now it's almost like 30th anniversary, so kind of old. Pulp Fiction on Blu-ray. Kill Bill, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Then we have Inglorious Bastards. Django Unchained, which may be his masterpiece. The Hateful Eight, pretty solid movie. I think it gets a little bit too much hate. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, it's probably my second favorite. That movie is so good. I really do love Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Then we have the Star Wars movies, so I would love to get all of them on 4K someday. But they're a little pricey, you know how Disney is. So I do just have some of them. I have The Force Awakens. This is in a protective sleeve. It's a Walmart exclusive, but it's really nice. Rogue One also has a Walmart exclusive here. And then I put that one back. But I do have The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. So that's episodes 8 and 9. I have those on 4K. This is actually a digibook here. Beauty and the Beast, but I actually won this digibook in like a YouTube video contest. Then we have Aladdin. This is the Diamond Edition here on Blu-ray. How to Train Your Dragon, three movie collection. Really good movies there. Despicable Me 1 and 2. 
I don't have three because I didn't really like it. Then we have Finding Dory. Nomeo and Juliet. Not very good. I don't know why I have that. Isle of Dogs. This is a stop motion movie. We have uh, the Pixar Inside Out movie. And they're making an Inside Out 2, which should be interesting. Kubo in the Two Strings, really good. We have my Lego Movie collection here. So the Lego Movie, that's a 3D Blu-ray. The Lego Batman Movie, really fun. The Lego Ninjago Movie. And then the Lego Movie 2, the second part, kind of a stupid title. Um, I really didn't like that movie too much. I saw that one in theaters, thought it was just okay. The Lion King on Blu-ray. The Lorax plus three mini movies, which is uh, silly put that on the spine in my opinion. Mega Mind on Blu-ray classic film. This is actually out of order. Um, so that's Toy Story 2, and then Toy Story 1, and Toy Story 3. I don't have Toy Story 4 because I hated that movie. Then we have Who Framed Roger Rabbit. That'd be nice to get on 4K. Then we have How the Grinch Stole Christmas. So that is a Christmas title there. Rango, really good movie. And then another Z title, that's Zootopia. And we'll move over here. We're getting close to the end now. Here we have my DC collection. So we have uh, movies that are not in the DCEU, kind of here. And uh, we have my Digibooks, all sorts of stuff kind of in here. So let's go ahead and look at it. The Superman trilogy with the three good Superman movies. So Superman the movie. Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut, and Superman Returns. The Batman 4 film collection, which has the two Tim Burton movies and the two Joel Schumacher movies. We have the ultimate cut of Watchmen, really good movie. The Dark Knight trilogy, and we have the Dark Knight Rises, that's a digi book there. Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, and we have a regular version of Wonder Woman there too. We have Justice League, a movie we don't talk about. We have the far superior Zack Snyder's Justice League. Aquaman, Shazam, Blu-ray and 4K. We have Birds of Prey, Wonder Woman 1984, The Suicide Squad, Black Adam, Shazam Fury of the Gods, and we have The Batman and The Adventures of Batman, just kind of off in their own little space there. It's all disconnected from all this other stuff. Over here on this side, just kind of some odds and ends here. We have two TV miniseries here, Band of Brothers and The Pacific, kind of in this interesting type of packaging. These are both really good, though. We have a documentary series here. It's an old DVD set, too but it's uh, The World at War. Then we have Clint Eastwood's No Name Trilogy. That's a DVD set. The Godfather Trilogy on DVD. I'd like to uh, pick that up on 4K sometime. We have some empty DVD cases just sitting there. And we have another documentary. Walt Disney, really good PBS documentary there. I think that's only available on DVD, though. It's really good, though. We have Jerry Seinfeld, the comedian. Won't You Be My Neighbor on Fred Rogers. And then a WWE documentary about Andre the Giant. And we move on down here. And we have some DVD box sets. Now, a lot of these titles I already have upgraded to Blu-ray or 4K. Or maybe I plan to upgrade. But these are just fun DVD box sets. That I like to have. So even if I do upgrade like Star Wars to 4K or something like that, I think I'm going to keep these because they're just really fun box sets. So we have the first six Star Wars movies here. So we have The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, and A New Hope. That's actually out of order. Okay, that's weird. And we have the bonus material. We have the Indiana Jones trilogy on DVD there. Superman 2 and Superman Returns. We have the Spider-Man movies on DVD, so yes. I have the Tobey Maguire trilogy on DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K. Independence Day in this very old-style DVD packaging. 
Independence Day Resurgence. I was curious to see what that movie was all about. It's not very good, so I'm happy I picked it up at Dollar Tree for a dollar because I don't need that movie on Blu-ray or 4K or anything like that. It's not a good movie. The Alien Quadrilogy, which is uh, one of the few things I've ever actually seen use the word quadrilogy. Again, I'd like to get that on Blu-ray, but I'm holding out for a 4K release. Unbreakable, great film. Again, another thing I like to get on uh, 4K. This is actually E.T. I'll pull this out real quick. But it doesn't have anything on the spine, but yeah, that's E.T. Blues Brothers on DVD. And then we have uh, Pearl Harbor on DVD, which is a pretty interesting packaging as well. Austin Powers 1, 2, and 3. And then up here at the top, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And Monty Python, The Meaning of Life. Now, I think, I think it's this one, The Meaning of Life, that has a 4K release, so I do plan to get that. But The uh, Holy Grail, a classic movie that most people, I feel like, know about, doesn't even have a 4K release yet. I don't know why. So these down here are big Seinfeld box sets. My favorite comedy show of all time. This has the first four seasons in there. Season one is pretty short, though. This one has the puffy shirt. Pretty cool. It's seasons five and six. And then these ones, I don't believe ever got a box set like these ones. So we have uh, season seven, season eight, and season nine right there. So with that, we move on to this small tan shelf. So there are more cartoons on this one. Up at the top, I have a stand that I put whatever I'm watching on there. Just kind of as a now watching sort of thing. So I was just recently watching Casablanca. So there it is. Just kind of sitting there. We move down here and we have my kind of more adult cartoons. This is all Adult Swim though. So we have Rick and Morty season one, season two, season three, season four, and season five. Don't have six, but I will eventually. The first four volumes of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. We have the Aqua Teen Hunger Force colon movie film for theaters on DVD. Actually, you know what? The Critic is not Adult Swim. But that's that. The Critic. Harvey Birdman, Volume 1, 2, and 3. Sea Lab 2021, Seasons 1 and 2. We move down here. Another adult cartoon. The very short-lived Clerks cartoon. The Looney Tunes Golden Collection right there. We have my small Tom and Jerry collection. So Spotlight Volume 1 and Volume 3. Still need two. The Gene Ditch Collection and the Chuck Jones Collection. And then Tom and Jerry Golden Collection Volume 1. We have the Tex Avery Screwball Classics Volume 1 as well. Someday I do plan to get uh, Screwball Classics Volume 2 and Volume 3. Then we have my Futurama collection. So we start with Volume 1 right here, and Volume 2, Volume 3, and Volume 4. That's the original run and the original packaging. The Monster Robot Maniac Fun collection, and the movies, as well as Bender's Big Score, The Beast with the Billion Bags, Into the Wild Green Yonder, and Bender's Game, both of those on Blu-ray. And then the final four volumes in this smaller packaging, that's Volume 5 and Volume 6. And then the final season for Comedy Central, seasons, uh, I mean, sorry, Volumes 7 and 8. I wonder if they'll release another release for the Hulu season. And then, of course, here at the bottom, we have a Looney Tunes collection down here. Now, I did make a video showcasing my entire Looney Tunes collection, so check that out if you want to. I'll go much more in-depth in that video. But just briefly... I do have the Golden Collection up there, obviously. But we have the Superstars Volumes 1 and 2. Then the Solo Pepe Le Pew. And Sylvester and Hippity Hopper sets. Essential Bugs Bunny. The Looney 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 Bugs Bunny movie. The Looney Tunes Spotlight Collection 1 through 3. Rabbit's Run. We have the Holiday Triple Feature. 
some Blu-rays down there, the Platinum Collection, Volume 3. Mouse Chronicles, the Bugs Bunny 80th Anniversary set, as well as Collector's Choice, Volume 1. Duck Dodgers, the complete series, really fun set. Space Jam on DVD. I would like to get Space Jam 1 and 2 on 4K sometime. And then lastly, we have the Warner Bros. Academy Awards sets here. And so, wow, that is the majority of my collection right there. So three shelves, actually four, kind of, if you count this one. But there it is. Holy cow. So yes, this is the collection here. I do have one more shelf. It's a old DVD shelf that uh, is in a separate room. Let's go ahead and bring it in and I'll show it to you. And so this is the retro DVD shelf that I was talking about. This sits in another separate room, but I brought it in here real quick to look at, because why not? Now again, kind of a repeated theme in this video, but a lot of these titles, some of them are only available on DVD, but a lot of them are really good movies, and I'd like to upgrade them to Blu-ray or 4K someday. But for now, I do just have them on DVD. That's all right. So we'll go through it one by one. We have Eight Heads in a Duffel Bag with Joe Pesci, Airplane, National Lampoon's Animal House, Big Fish, Bruce Almighty, Castaway, Collateral, really good movie, Captain Phillips, Coming to America, Downfall, Edward Scissorhands, I would love for that to get a 4K, Eddie the Eagle, Employee of the Month, Fat Albert, Grand Torino, Gladiator, Good Night and Good Luck, I Am Legend, It, The Kite Runner, Last King of Scotland, Me and Earl and the Dying Girl, Matilda, Miss Doubtfire, Old School, Million Dollar Baby, Napoleon Dynamite, Paul Blart Mall Cop, 1 and 2, The Prestige, The Princess Bride, Planet of the Apes, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, Rest in Peace, Paul Rubens, Pixels, The Pianist, Road to Perdition, Saving Private Ryan, Seven Psychopaths, Sirianna, Super 8, Signs, The Sandlot, this one's kind of different, Schoolhouse Rock, Stranger Than Fiction, Superbad, Superhero Movie, Talladega Nights, Trading Places, Tropic Thunder, United 93, it's a nice number, Where the Millers, Wonder, The World's End, and The Way Way Back. And there it is. Pretty cool. And so now that officially concludes the collection. Just a brief overview one more time. We have my Marvel stuff, my Nickelodeon, my cartoons on Blu-ray, my live action shows, some Funko Pops down there, the movie collection here on this shelf, my favorite shelf, and more cartoons here on this shelf. A lot of titles. This video took about an hour to make. But there is a lot of stuff to showcase in my collection. This video would have been even longer if I took all of them out, unboxed them, you know, all of that stuff. So just uh, showing the spines was the way to go to save some time. Did not want to be here all day, so... But uh, yeah, I am a man of my word. I decided to uh, make this complete collection video when we hit 3,000 subscribers. And so just once again, I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. The people who like my videos, comment, all of that stuff. When I first started this channel kind of as a joke. Never expected that I would be uploading like three videos a month and 
getting all these views and all these subscribers. But I am just, at the end of the day, I'm a big fan of movies. Big fan of retro cartoons. I love physical media, and so I'm able to showcase my interests and my hobbies and the stuff I like on this channel. And people are watching and tuning in, and it's just really cool. So, just one more time, this is the collection. Looks pretty nice when it's all nice and organized on these shelves here, so pretty cool. But I think that's going to do it for this video. Again, I'll have to edit this down a little bit, but not sure how long this video is, but hopefully not too long, but we'll see. But if you made it to the end of this video, just want to say thank you for watching. Comment down below that you made it to the end. And also comment, what was your favorite title in my collection? It could be a movie, it could be a DVD cartoon or whatever. I've got DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks, cartoons, movies, all sorts of stuff. So whatever you thought was the best title, let it be known down below. Interested to see what people are thinking. So, uh, hopefully, like I said, this video is not too long, but this is the complete collection. But yes, everyone, that is going to do it. The complete collection in its entirety for the first time featured in one video. I knew this video would take a while, so, uh, definitely happy I was able to reach 3,000 subscribers and I could celebrate by doing this video. So once again, just want to say thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking and commenting and all that good stuff. Thanks a lot for watching this video in particular. Stay tuned for more videos here on the channel and take care.